Okay, today is day 24 of cooking with Mrs. Carson. Wow, we've been on a long, a long break, huh? Well, today, we still are on holiday because this is a holiday so that everyone in this house wants to eat. We all want to eat it. And it's non-stop. Eat, 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 eat. Yeah, okay, so this recipe is, is one that I traditionally make um, usually in December when I put together a platter of goodies. Christmas! Yep. But we don't eat this Um. But this, this is such a simple recipe. Um, we call these church windows. Um, and they, they could be called many other things, but this is one of the easiest recipes that you can make that and no, they're everyone not likes. Glass. All you need is a stick of butter, uh, a bag of 10 ounce colored marshmallows. Wait, I can make a regular one. You could, but these just give it a different taste. True. And you need um, one bag of semi-sweet or dark chocolate chips, whatever your preference is. So you can melt it. Yep, so all you have to do for this is melt your butter down so with your see, chocolate. And so I can see, see if we get this chocolate chips when you're not looking during the video. Mm -hmm. That's what you like to do, huh? Yes, I love chocolate chips. You do. Um, this do you this like recipe, I have actually made this many times, like even in the morning before school. I find out that it's a student's birthday or if I was going to bring treats and I forgot about it the night before. You just gotta bake it fast. This is the quickest treat ever. Right, this is one that I can put together in the, in the early morning and have it ready to go before I leave for school, even while getting you guys ready. Okay. I just see one of you. You got us ready in like two days. I know, it's pretty easy. We've got a routine. And, and, and I don't have the So all we're going to do is add the bag of chocolate chips to our butter. Uh, I know a lot of people when they make these, they put coconut in this. Ew! Now we're not big coconut fans, so we skip that step. So we have no coconut here. Yeah, yeah. So you may have seen this recipe before, but with coconut, um, you could simply you could add that if you'd like. But like I said, everyone here likes this without. Coconut. So all we're doing is melting the chocolate down with the butter. Um, our butter was in the refrigerator, so I'm just breaking this up a little bit as it melts. Oh, I did forget. I do add about a teaspoon of vanilla to this after the chocolate has melted, too. I have forgotten that step before, and they turn out just fine, too. So if you don't have vanilla or you forget it, it's not going to make too big of a difference. No worries. This is just semi-sweet chocolate that I'm using today. I do use dark chocolate a lot with this too. Again, just use what you have. Okay. Um, you're also going to need some wax paper for this. That's what we're going to lay our chocolate out in. I usually separate it into two logs. So I have two pieces of wax paper up here. Not yet. So remember, you never want to add vanilla while you're boiling something or something's really hot no, on the no, stove. No, 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 that would not be good. That would not be good impact on your own. No, what will happen is that vanilla, when you add it to something that's very, very hot, it sizzles. And it sizzles and it is not what you want. Right, it could come up and hit you in the face and that would be Oh, good. yes, 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 yes. So, at any time you have to add vanilla to something that's hot, you want to remove it from the heat. And wait, wait until it starts Okay, so our chocolate is melted. We're going to oh, move that to melt the chocolate. off of the burner. And I'm just going to add a couple of squirts. It's about a teaspoon of vanilla. Stir that in. And then you dump your colored marshmallows oh my gosh, I'm so into your chocolate. Don't mind me. Oh, goodness. And then you just stir this up. Again, we are off of the heat. Okay. You just get your marshmallows good and coated. Excuse me, dear. Just looks like this. And then you're going to split this up into two different logs on a piece of wax paper. So half of it on one piece of wax paper, half of it on another or whatever fits. Then, it's kind of a mess here. 
Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. And then what you're going to do is take the one end, I got this a little messy. Oh my gosh. And push your log together to form a to form just a straight log. Hey, are we gonna find Kermit's frog on this log? Can I get a sand job? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so you're forming your log. You'll roll it up in the wax paper. And then we are going to put this on a pan and put it right in the freezer. Um, if you don't have a lot of room in your freezer, you could put this in the refrigerator. All it needs to do is set up. Okay, so again, we're forming our log in our wet paper, closing the ends off so it's all squished together, folding it up. We'll put it on a baking sheet and put it in the fridge. We'll be right back here after these set up. After your chocolate has had time to set up, if you put it in the freezer, 15, 20 minutes. If you put it in the refrigerator, it might take a little bit longer than that. Um, but this is one we had made before. You just unroll the wax paper from your log. You can see on the end here, we've got kind of that stained glass look. I call the biggest piece. Take a serrated knife, and this was in the freezer, so it's a little bit harder. And then you just cut them, and you are left with these little logs that look like stained glass. And you cut them as thick as you want. Um, I try to cut them kind of thin because they're a little bit rich. Um, I want but these decorate up a plate because there's so much color in them. And they, they don't look very appealing in this log form, but once you lay them on their side like this, they are very, very pretty. Mm. And they taste delicious, don't they? Yes, my mouth cannot really taste them. All right, so. Yes, I want that one. These would make a very, very easy dessert for your holiday dinner.